know what to make of you, really. <laughs> Why would you do this? All right, to hello and welcome to Empire the Lost. Next week, sixteen. Where is it? I, I believe it's sixteen. Something. I, I thought it was seventeen. 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 How's everybody doing? Great. Good. We're all muted now, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you're yes, muted. Okay, cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. <clears throat> Yeah, I think last week we either ended off or no, we didn't have a game because didn't have a game. No, nope, didn't play. Yeah, we had absences and uh, oh, actually not absences. Me, Wait, my yeah, nephew turned one. Yay! It was also Aww. my birthday. But we don't care we about your birthday. birthday. We just care no, about his. You. Yeah. We only care about babies. Babies are the best, especially my. So baby. we can murder them. Because no. No, not that <laughs> He stays forever. And this group's actually fair, pretty good at Ash... not doing the baby murder. Yeah. Well, yeah, to be fair, though, Ash does kind of have a baby murder obsession in basically does, every yes. game. He does, yes. You can't watch the very first uh, stream I was in without gathering that information. I have no clue what you guys are talking about. But <laughs> <laughs> anything interesting happened Super with your guys' uh, life? And Chris, you went through a very... Uh, stressful thing this past week yeah i mean it all ended up okay so you know i'm here nothing was damaged everything's fine yeah unfortunately chris here had the brunt of hurricane irma go over his place but luckily nothing bad happened okay glad you're okay sadly Hearts go out to everybody that did get affected by the hurricane in both cases. And <clears throat> wish you guys the best of luck. Yeah. Everybody that's here, anything else happened with your weeks? Um, I got popcorn kernel stuck in my throat right now. Does that count? I suppose that is something in your week. Thank you. I, uh, I went on a date with my boyfriend Friday. That was fun. Lies, she's gonna have one. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Your pillow does not oh, count. that's hilarious. You yes. have a boyfriend. Yeah, we went on a <laughs> Don't date. Don't mistake um, Kelsey for Rycor. Come we on. We went to go see a movie. It was... Uh, oh my god, yes. Oh god, I forgot the name it. of the movie. I actually know <laughs> the name of the movie and I forgot it. Oh! oh. Osmosis Jones. <laughs> it was Osmosis oh yes, Jones, it was right? Osmosis Jones. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> no... No, it was actually Hitman's Bodyguard. It was going to be Atomic Blonde, but they were Atomic Blonde, it. that's what it was but, that you were saying you are going to go see. That's right. Yeah, but uh, it, they didn't show it, so we went to see Hitman's Bodyguard with Ryan Reynolds instead, and it was great. Osmosis. Oh. I'm glad you enjoyed yeah. it. It was fun. How about you, Philip? Stuff happened. <laughs> Stuff happened. Ooh, I think the voice is cutting out on people. Or is that just Kelsey? Or is that my computer? I think it's oh, it could be me. My internet's kind of shitty right now, so. It's a mystery. I can hear everyone. We are can hear everyone. Yeah, I think it's better now. <clears throat> Alright, so. You guys, I want to throw up. <laughs> it's fine. Well, that's you should anyway. calm down. <laughs> that's actually a new feeling for you versus the initial. Yeah, hey, that is true. You yeah. didn't immediately so, start uh, with I'm everybody. The ever been. Let's have a round that's of applause flat. for Ryan not saying she's mad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god! No, she's mad. I'm not. I'm scared. <laughs> This is the first Man, week I in a long time. Yeah. Good job. Adrian's <laughs> not angry for once. It's so actually kind of ironic, but we'll see that once we get into the game. So. No! Very ironic. Very ironic. Actually, let me go ahead and set the mood for so you chill cats. Path. Please give map. There is no map. I thought there was. There is still no map. map. Oh, what was that thing? I 
I've been yeah. preparing for this. I got this. Oh, you want to do the recap? We if we can't, if I can't. Unless right. somebody else wants to do it. No, by all means. You take the Go lead. Alright. So, last week, we began talking to the giant thing called Hildy. Well, not us. Astron did. But, and he tried to explain it to the group, but he did a very bad job of it. And throughout that conversation, we discovered that Hildy had sunflowers that she considered her children. And they were given from Akiyama's past that Alfie forgot existed. Now, let's see. Enough. Hildy was extremely sad because the facilitators had come down and burned her flowers. We still don't know that because Astron didn't tell us shit. And then, out of nowhere, a facilitator a facilitator came down, started wrecking the fuck out of us. We were getting fucked in the ass, hard. But then, Sujin, me, otherwise known as a savior, one-shotted him, and then Bayana kill steal. Then there we go. You didn't one-shot him. You did not yes, did. fucking one-shot no, him did. because I he counted took that one shot. He already shot. took damage prior, and he took damage afterwards. That's not sure. I call it a one-shot. If you want to do it, you should have done the recap. You're wrong. You, you're incorrect. You're actively incorrect. But I still killed him. Well, for the most part, that's what happened last session. <laughs> As we open up today, you guys are trapped still within the confines and darkness of the second floor here in the spire. The air is filled with burnt ozone, the stench of blood and staunch wounds remnants of the battle past as heavy breaths and agonized strains come from everyone as they wait and look down at the wreckage that was once the facilitator's form as the camera moves to Raya. She just, she's just standing over the body sort of white knuckling, gripping her axe, breathing heavily. It takes a huge amount of effort, but she manages to drop it. And lunges at Asteron. In the meantime, Master's saying, okay, good work team, I mean. Grabs his collar with both hands. <laughs> That's a grapple? Yep. <laughs> Roll your Watch strength that. plus a d10 versus Asheron. Says this is. No, this is catching oh. you off guard. Oh, okay. that's true, that is true. So it's just okay. a. What's your base rank of an escape artist? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Um, That's a zero. Okay, so uh, you run up and grab him. <laughs> <laughs> I already rolled, too. So as you guys were sitting there, taking a She's short amount of time to begin starting the process of healing wounds and whatnot, as a quick movement, followed by the clack and clink of the heavy axe hitting the ground, and then turning to see the axe on the floor, you blink for a moment, and then you notice Astron held off the ground currently by a veined armed Raya rage still building in her form and looking like she's still in the fury state that she's seen her go in multiple times past in lieu of combat. Astron's a little puzzled. Um, what do you think you're doing? What the Raya? fuck is going on? Uh, uh, hey, Raya, the um, battle's over and uh, our enemy, though dead, is over there. So do you mind putting me down? She doesn't, but some of the some of the haze seems to drop, and there's a spark of panic and horror amidst the fury, and y'all are gonna have to. Turn your fucking volume down, because I'm about to yell in character. 
Oh, okay. Please don't yell. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> What the fuck was that? What was what? You had better start explaining. I mean, I thought I explained pretty well, in all honesty. I mean, she's a little mad at the facilitators. They, she likes flowers. She wants uh, an old woman. Okay, let's let's calm down a second, Miss Raya. Put me down. Despite our past, um, our past uh, things together, I prefer to not to be manhandled too much. So just put me down. It tightens even more. I'm gonna walk over and stand uh, next to Astaron. And just put an arm on Raya's, uh, one of her upper arms. Biceps. Just look at her. I can understand why you'd want to punch Astron in the face, but this isn't exactly <laughs> the best time. <clears throat> the grip finally starts to loosen. Not much, but a noticeable amount. So you're making some progress. And Astron roll a D10. Yelling. Uh, okay. Do I need to wait? Uh, for his D10, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll change my thing. Don't worry. Your clothing didn't rip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh shit! The Christ. neck of your turtleneck off. Huh? Yeah, almost joined the naked brigade. <laughs> <laughs> In a very strained, <laughs> low voice that is meant for only you and Rykor, she says, How am I supposed to keep you safe if you don't tell us what the fuck is happening? I can't. I thought that I explained pretty well, like... It's you... fine is not an explanation. I didn't want to worry you guys. I had everything under control. She was just banging her head on the ground in a little bit of... It was just a show of anger. It wasn't meant to hurt me or anyone. It's okay. Look under control to you. She was under control. It was only when the facilitator came. And at that point, that was completely out of my hands at that point, in which everyone started going to action. That grip tightens again, and that fury starts to rise. What, did I say something wrong? Did I look over the right <laughs> Her Her fists actually start, like, squeezing inward in more of a, like, choking you with the neck of your turtleneck motion. And then finally let's go completely. <sighs> As you careen but into the actual soft surface of the ground that's basically a lot of trash and refuse compacted down into a kind of like a cushiony surface. You look back up at Raya who is still filled with hate towards you in anger as you sit in the dirty pile looking up at her. I get up, pat myself off. Okay. You all good now? I don't know, are we? I look over to Raya. Well, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I told you everything. <laughs> they hurt her babies, which now thinking back might actually everything. be 
I mean, I said I said talking about hurting children, which I mean. Now looking back, might have actually been her flowers. By the way, are those still on fire? As I point over to there. <laughs> as you look towards the sunflowers, they are very much so still on fire and slowly <coughs> burning into a crisp ash. At this point, you turn to see the giant looking at the burning flowers on her knees in a defeatist-esque pose, hands kind of held open towards the skies, and head just bowed down looking at the remainder of the flowers catching flame and being turned to ash. Can you try to tell her she could probably put those out? Um, oh, I'm sorry, can you? She prop she's pretty big. She could probably just kind of wave her hands at it. Um, fast um, enough. I look over to Hilda. Hilda, do you know how to put out a fire? You're you're pretty big. You can just wave it, and I'm talking to her in under common, obviously. You can wave it out or pat it down. The flames of the facilitators don't go out until they're done burning. Oh, the flames don't go out. I look over to Akiyama. They magic flames then. I'd be able to help if it wasn't for the... Whatever it is that they've got going on here. Every time I've tried to cast any helix-based magic, it's, um... Been kind of agonizingly painful. Say anything to him? So, sorry, essentially, what, what was he saying with Akiyama? What was Akiyama saying? Said that whenever I tried to cast Helix magic, it was agonizingly painful. Mm. I mean, that whole thing with the lower bits of this tower apparently messed with helix magic so that might be a thing that's what i believe it to be yes <laughs> also can you ask if hilda can speak anything other than was it under common okay i look over to hilda hey babe can you speak anything other than under common can you hey babe get out <laughs> Silently, her eyes still locked as the remainder of the sunflowers begin to catch flame and just softly shakes her head no. Nah. nah. Kind of want to ask us some questions and I kind of don't want to use you as an inventory. Well, that seems what's going to have to happen here, but if it's any caveat, we don't have time for that. We need to go up this tower. I think we're going to be asking these questions. Alright, fine. All my questions. Okay, I'll sit here and I'll translate. Can you ask her where she lost or... So... Iwanaga. Hey, Hilda. Though she doesn't physically seem to alter, you assume you've got her ear. So when was the last time you saw uh, Nagi? Many years ago, before my people came here. Okay. Many years ago, before she came to can here. Ask, can you ask where? I look back. Where did you see her? Uh, 
place that smells of white flowers from trees. Place with white flowers. And trees. White flowers in trees. Is that all? That really doesn't help. She speaks a little, you know, simple. So, I mean, that's kind of... Any Anything else, uh, Hilda, sweetie? She pauses and thinks. Place of Eversun. Eversun. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, Eversun. She might mean Everking territory, or maybe. What, what do I want to throw? A knowledge history? A knowledge. We'll throw, we'll throw a bunch of knowledges in. Um. Uh, I'd say knowledge history. You probably want to be. Oh, it's, yeah, knowledge history. For knowledge history, any anything like that. From what you know, <laughs> it sounds very similar to the Ever King, and yes. the trees that she mentioned with white flowers remind you a lot of the Jade Lily. That's. <laughs> one of the staples of trees that are planted in most of the cities in the right. Ever Kingdom to ward off evil from mountains and forests. Okay. Uh, cool. I suppose that's all I'm going to get from her that will help. Mm, probably. I look over to the rest of the group. What's Rycor and Raya doing right now? I'm just sort of watching her to see what she's doing. I'm... Uh, a very significant distance away from the group. Just tearing at anything that I can tear apart. That's when no. kind of walks over to Rycor. No, 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 don't go away yet. I've, I've, I think I've got one more. Oh, okay. He, he walks backwards and goes back to you. Yes? Can you ask her if she seemed happy? That's where I'm putting a couple seconds. Size. Looks over at Hilda. Hey, Hilda. My friend just wants to know, wants to make sure that Nagi was nice and happy the last time you saw her. She pauses, and it's really awkward because there's not really a word for happy and undercommon, so you have to do like a workaround of trying to describe the feeling. Emotion of positive energy. But after <laughs> doing so, she seems to give a nod. I'm pretty sure that had not a self-explanatory to you, Akiyama. Yeah. I suppose that's good enough. Okay, cool. Patch on the shoulder. Don't worry. I'm sure I'm sure you find her. And also as everyone else is doing their thing. I'm gonna be drawing a sunflower in my sketchbook. Okay. Alright. I also just lean over while looking over. Also, by the way, the next time you draw her, you might want to draw an eye patch with that as I walk over to White Corey. What? <laughs> as I walk over to White Corey. <laughs> this is why I'm mad. I, this is why I'm Sujin mad. Looks over to... This is why I'm mad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Susan looks over to Akiyama. Is he always like this? Yeah, pretty much. How have you guys not killed him yet? Do I look like someone is just gonna kill somebody? 
No, you don't, but he seems like someone who's very killable. <laughs> so I mean, Riot did just right. lunge for his throat, so... I mean, we almost just died, and he's here making jokes, and... Suppose it's just oh, how some people deal. You're right. So, sauntering over to Rykor. Looking over at Raya destroying stuff. You know, I think she's trying to work through some issues, and she's failing horribly at it. What makes you say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if she were failing horribly, you'd be a splatter over there on the ground. Fair. Although I'm not sure my clothes and wardrobe are going to survive another one of her outbursts, and I prefer to keep this on. Thank you very much. If I were to venture a guess, I would say that she's not actually angry with you. But she'll come around. It's just going to take a lot of work. People such as herself are very prone to quick action. Hmm. Immediate satis satisfaction? Satis? You mean satisfaction? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you can kind of do that, right? Because intelligence isn't great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, don't take it personal. Just understand once we get out of here. It should be okay. Taking to a whorehouse. Taking her to a whorehouse? Yes. Well, what? You're this doing right here, time? I'm pretty sure, is sexual frustration. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know about that. I have a pretty st strong feeling that, that that is exactly what it is. You know, every time we talk, you get a little bit stranger. <laughs> Ashwin just smiles, looking over at Raya. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to come too? To uh, uh, to a place like that? Yes. I believe I shall decline. Oh. Do you get a lot of action? I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I feel like now's and the time for Lord goes to Asteron for making Rikor so uncomfortable he has to leave the area. <laughs> so as all this is happening, let's go to this quiet one. Feyana, what are you doing? I was really just watching Raya worriedly from a distance, not really saying anything. By now, she's stopped tearing things apart. She's still facing the whatever trash pile and the same heavy, heaving breaths. And she's just barely shaking. Oh, so you're done now? Astron says. <laughs> wow. So you're done now. She doesn't look at him. She doesn't say anything. Also, she's a good distance away from everyone. So. As I mean, you I'm just are saying... looking through, like, at her. Astron, I need you to make a spot check. Oh. Okay, so straight up spot, not passive. Cool. Spot, 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 spot. It's not very good, but okay. As you're looking past her, something in the trash actually catches your eye. 
It looks like it's obscured, but in the mound of trash, it's akin to like looking through a dense forest and seeing a bonfire at the other end. Hmm. I make my way over to there, walking a little past Raya, and just tilting my head. What's that? I was looking at Raya, too. Could I make a spot for that? Sure, go ahead. Alright. <laughs> no, that's good. You see flickers, like... In a dense forest and just in the peripherals, seeing, like, fireflies flying around. But you don't see it as the same descriptor as I gave Asheron. Uh, well, I'll, I'll just ignore it and continue to just watch Raya. <laughs> so I'm going to make my way over there. So you start digging through the trash mound? Yeah, I guess it's right by Raya. She basically created the open <sighs> beyond her knowledge. But yeah, you're basically going through the area of trash she's created. <sighs> okay. Ooh. What do you know? Anger helps sometimes. Ooh. Just picking out. It's <laughs> going through it. So much like a rabid raccoon, <laughs> Asheron just starts digging through the trash, throwing stuff aside, stops, looks at a severed limb that's been shriveled for a long period of time, and then tosses it to the side, and continues going deeper into the trash mound. You're going to ruin your clothes doing that. But they're still on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, just talk. Why has his voice gotten like an octave higher all of a sudden? Because <laughs> he's interested. Right. All right. He himself. <laughs> What, Chris? I say he probably just pissed himself. <laughs> I probably I would. As you're passing through here passively, you kind of stop as you like grab hold of some cloth that gets stuck in your arm. As you pull it out, and it looks like a raggedy tagged like demi cloak. It looks too small f or big for you, but. Something. It What's smell like? Says high heaven. Whew. I put it on. Oh my uh, god! How, how how do the uh, sleeves look? Yeah, not that great. But it covers you. <laughs> Just why are you wearing that? Go more, in, go more into it. <laughs> wow! If we still had Smokey, we could have clothed him. Oh yeah, don't it's I need clothes or something? Yes, yes you do. Aston, I've seen beggars better dressed than that. Not my concern. Actually, Sujin, as you're looking at it, it looks like it could properly fit you. Hey. Astron. Hmm? Huh? Maybe since you're not in danger of being killed because of the clothes you're wearing, maybe that cloak should better go to me. Maybe. In fact, it looks like it fits me better. Why do you both want to wear rags? Because I, my clothes can get me killed. But those rags look so ugly. Yeah, they look <laughs> ugly, but I would rather look ugly than die. Oh, well, sometimes. Depends. <laughs> I'd rather look ugly Something and die here. Something I will never understand. Maybe but, until but look at I them. agree with you, but <laughs> I'm looking at them. <laughs> no, I... I am looking right at it. It's dirty. It's ugly. It looks like something I would never wear until it's. But here in the dark plane, these robes can get me killed. Those... I don't ask, I'm not with you. I can look worse just by being here. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna pick up a little dirt and smear it on Akiyama's shoulder. No, he backs the hey! You can't oh get it. You could try. Akiyama, what's your spot ranks? Uh, passive spot. Oh, do you have passive? passive? Spot. I know. So, uh, what's your spots rank? Uh, do you want me to just roll it? No, you don't roll. What's your spot rank? Oh, just spot ranks. Uh, just a few. It's not many. Shit, free. Yeah! So, Rycor, do your silent move and hide to see if you can beat his three. Oh, and your um, listen round. Akiyama. Oh, my listen. Oh, that's uh, much better. I my do listen. It. <laughs> no, it's not. It's zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you have to beat a zero with your move silent and a three with your hide. <laughs> the sneak up. Okay. It's actually, very le there's a legitimate chance he won't be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a good chance. Um, come on, come see. on. Move silently. Give me the shit. Okay, that succeeds. Hey! Okay, and that was that was the hard one. Okay. Hide wanted. Ooh. Uh. Oh, oh. Hey, you have a rank. You succeed. There is a rank. <laughs> oh! Oh, you do! I so, thought it was negative one for a minute. As, oh, and I think Alfie threw. <laughs> oh, he did! <laughs> he couldn't stand oh, getting God. dirtied. <laughs> <laughs> he cowered it out. Fuck. <laughs> but as that's about to happen, we'll wait for him to get back so he can relish in your success. But. Akiyam, or uh, Astron, do you acquire to his request? I look um, at him, look down at the cloak, look back at him. What you got? What do I got? What do you have? What do I have? I'm not doing this with you, keep it. Fine, I take it off and throw it at you. If I go back to going for the stuff, no fun. <laughs> no, we're in the dark plane. There's no fun in the dark plane. I beg to differ. That's wrong. As as you, the moment you, you get to the diff, you just watch as Astron falls forward out of sight like he tumbles down something. I beg to differ. <laughs> what the fuck? As you look down the hole and just see something similar to like candlelight flickering, but against trash in the background, like he's in a domed room or something, and you can only <coughs> see the area of trash on the other side, but not him. And then you view a line of sight. Wait, he just disappeared? He looked like he dropped through something. Like someone putting their hand on a a wall, and the wall gives off, and they fall through it. Okay, speaking like, like speaking made us like in the old cartoons, like where there's a black circle on the floor, and he, that whole thingy, like the Looney Tunes, like that, or? No, it's you're looking to the <laughs> path he took, and looking directly down it. He put his hand on one trash bag, and then the trash bag fell. He fell with it, and it looked like. He, what you can see beyond that is just a domed area with no sight of him. How about me? As you fall into the area, you tumble about 15 to 20 feet before coming to the stop in front of what looks like a bonfire. Hmm. In the center of the bonfire, you see a sword stuck through it with what looks like a very elegant and beautiful, but odd, necklace rested on the hilt. Look around. I creep up towards it. Looking at my Susan would kind of follow towards where he saw after on fall. Does he have to make a move, a move silently to sneak up on a on a weapon? <laughs> sure, I'll roll that. <laughs> Go ahead. 
I hope you take the sword too. Amazing! Please. That'd be smart. <coughs> I gotta know what this necklace is. The necklace doesn't seem to catch your attention. <laughs> I creep up towards it. Oh my god. I try to take it. Why is he so weird? The moment you reach out and oh, get no. to a close proximity, the fire itself explodes outward, sending you thrown back into the wall. <laughs> As you look back up, you see this wall in place of where the item was. Oh, it's seems to be adorned with swords, weapons, armors, and different things as the center head changes and moves and looks directly towards you. Bearer of the Dark Heart, squander your wealth and pay its heed with life itself. And with those words, you watch as it begins to rescind and fade, actually as if it was going into the ground, but the ground doesn't seem to alter. It looks like it's sucking itself back into the bonfire before it finally fades out of existence. The bonfire itself going cold, not a single remnant of like heat or a coal remains. The sword that was there is gone, and the only thing you see it's a necklace on the ground in place Ooh. where it was. I gingerly pick it up and quickly take it back. It's around this time when you're reaching out to pick it up. Suijin, you pop your head through the hole and look down as he's fallen into like this concaved area that's around 20 feet wide and 30 feet tall of a dome and him picking up some item and pocketing it, pocketing it. And also, the light that you saw that was at the end here, you heard something similar to an explosion, but then after the explosion within seconds, the light faded and you only see him down here. You all right there, buddy? As you see him pick up a thing, put it here. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. What you got there? Mine. Oh no. You are. Don't you fucking do it. My prize. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Kill fresh. Up. I was about God, to jump to the computer and punch you. I look over at Feano. You look back and you only see really Rikor in view from this oh. trash hole. Okay, I look at Rikor and no, I know what he's gonna say. Do you have like a rope or something? The fool fell down it. A hole and he pocketed something how can you ask, how do you deal with him is there like a trick <laughs> is there a trick ignoring that last part yeah i'll walk over there and on the way pull out the the cut rope that i have it's only like <laughs> feet. thanks mad cow daddy as he holds up his hands for the rope. What is wrong with you? What the fuck is with him? <laughs> Am I able to get up? <laughs> yes. What's fucking weirder? Okay. You could've easily just climbed or walked up. It's not a steep slope. It's just oh. caught you by surprise. I was, I was confused. Either way, I still make it look very strenuous. <sighs> hey! Hey! Whew. I was gonna set the rope on the ground. <laughs> Amazing. 
I hand the rope back to you. Thanks! Whew! That was... That was something. Okay, are we ready to go? Look over to everyone. Oh, I want to see the dirt thing happen. What happened to the robot? He threw it at you. It depends on what you did. Oh, yeah, I would have grabbed at it, but then been surprised. So, I want to, like, try and grab the robe, the robe now. Like, put it over my clothes. It smells like something had died in it, and over a long period of time turned to ash, and just the robe left itself. Is that, is that a bad smell, or is that like... It's really bad. It means something decayed so badly that it left Fizzle. the clothing itself, and the, the rest of it was gone. I don't even know like, literally check, smell I? like a rotting corpse. Hey, As you hey, put hey. it on... Fantastic. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and roll a con check to see if you can... Oh, just... yeah! Oh, no. Roll for bomb. I'm rolling for bombs. Oh, my God. Do we have an Alfie? Alfie? Oh, yeah, we do. Roll for bombs. He's rolling for bombs. <laughs> Actually, you're able to steal yourself. It's not Dang. a pleasant thing in any manner, but after you put on the demi cloak and whatnot and fitting yourself it covers all your religious iconology and whatnot and even if you are brave enough you could put on the hood to cover most of your face it's really good at obscuring but it stinks to high hell the things i do for my goddess So as the two of you, plus Rykor, make your way out of the trash hole. Akiyama, you did notice it, but then you start to smell something. It's rancid, but you check yourself, thinking if you stepped on something, you notice down the side of your back is just this big streak of God only knows. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> Don't, don't think I would know. What was that you were saying about dirt and not liking it? I'm gonna do the set, just glance along the group, sensing the motive. Oh <laughs> my god! Jesus Christ! The dirt dude. serious businessman! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! So, Riker, do you have bluff? <laughs> I don't have that much blood. <laughs> so describe how he pierces your face as you're trying to keep a uh, a flat tone to Fucking your face. Pierce your face and a stab you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to keep it hidden for very long. I just look at him and kind of cock a half smile. Keep your priorities straight. <laughs> I'm gonna get spice for that bird! Never do this again. <laughs> and he's gonna tear off the robes and he's gonna fucking do what he can to scrape this off. Uh, like using the uh, like edge of his um, little sword <laughs> thing. Like, uh, can I use my profession grooming for that? Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> no, I've got them both in. I've got them both in. I use grooming, I've used drawing, I'm the best. <laughs> now we just need cooking. Oh, oh my god! That is serious that business. As you get oh all the god. crusted on nastiness off, and you are pretty confident that you cleaned this thing pristinely, minus the small noticeable but not that bad black streak that seems to encompass the top of your like right shoulder down to just above your butt cheek if you do that again i will light you on fire <laughs> been lit on fire before it's not that bad oh oh magic fire this time Bless. 
So as you guys kind of have that moment of chilling out after all that stress, Hilda finally turns around the rest of the Goliath sunflowers. Or maybe some sunflowers, I can't remember what I called them. Burnt out and turned into a black ash. As she moves, lumbering, <laughs> and stands looking down at all of you before the more intelligent head, or at least the sharper one, begins to speak. Astron, obviously, being the only one that understands, but... You helped Hilda. Even after Hilda almost smashed you. You have my thanks. You're welcome, honey. As to your plight... I can show you to the third floor, but that's all I can do. Yeah, well. What you gonna do? She doesn't say any more and just walks over Asteron and over the rest of the group as she continues to go down the entrance to her flower garden, at least. Now, the Garden of Ash. What's going on now? Well, now she's taking us over to the third floor, so let's go, team! Right. Should we really to have a bath on this tower? That'd be a waste of time. But it wouldn't be a waste of time to rest, would it? Apparently a bath is the only thing that gives him a spine. Let's see. Here's the well, thing. Well, that's the same insult twice. We've been... We've had a little bit of time on our hands, and I mean... We've only got so much time before a certain someone comes back and wrecks us all to high hell, so let's try and get those facilitators in their graves. Guys. Onwards! I hate this guy. I'm sorry, but I know he like helped me, but I I, I got him in. I hate this guy. Just kind of got to grin and bear it. Like, few wishes. <laughs> so as you continue walking on, you move through the trash piles, through the like past that she led you to get to the ash garden eyes sprinkle around the dunes of trash watching you all as you walk and head not to the pillar that brought you here but to the other side of the second floor which leads to a stone column As you actually get closer, you notice that the stone column isn't actually just a singular column. It's eight separate stone pillars congested to each other so perfectly that it looks as if it's just one singular column. And as you make your approach, with the eyes watching you in the distance, you take in that moment of one step of success in your journey of handling the facilitators but it was an easy one and with that you let that weigh your thoughts as you move forward to the next floor oh no but before we go well we'll handle that later because we're gonna take a break okay whoa already it's been an hour wow so thank you guys for watching we're gonna go ahead and take a 10 to 15 minute break it's time to stand up, use the bathroom, get something to eat, get something to drink. We'll be back within that amount of time. And yeah, <coughs> see you guys then. Peace. Bye. Oh, fuck, kill Michael. Kill him. Fucking light him on fire.
<clears throat> Can I say I love 